Holy smokes, I'm Daniel. And today I'm in Bangkok at the Siam Paragon shopping mall and it is insanely crowded. Saturday afternoon, it's pretty hot today in Bangkok so everyone's hitting the mall. Pretty massive. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> We're trying to get out of the crowd though, so let's see. All right, so one thing to note about Siam Paragon is that it's at the Siam BTS station. There's actually like three different malls. Um, there's like Siam Square, Siam Paragon, which is the one I'm in, which is like the bigger one. Um, and there's one other one, but I forget the name, but Siam Square is kind of like the uh, the, the locals one um, Versus this one you're gonna find more, you know, tourists <laughs> But uh, this is like the higher-end mall, so of course there's gonna be more um, Maybe like more brand names and things like that and Yeah, here we are <laughs> One of the cool things about Siam Paragon is actually there's like a full blown aquarium in the basement. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not joking about that. It's like straight up full blown, full blown aquarium. <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to get out of the crowd initially. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll take a trip down there. But yeah, this place is crowded. I mean, it's, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> But you'll find all the brand names you want. I mean, we got Boss right there, the Coach over there, you know, it's like Louis Vuitton back there, and just a little bit of everything. <laughs> One of the most crowded malls in Bangkok, actually. <laughs> wow, look at that. This, this particular wing is just all, all high fashion, as you can see. But they also have like a food court and some cool restaurants and like I said earlier, a, uh, an aquarium. So I'm gonna go, yeah. I'm not gonna go into the aquarium, but I will, I will show you guys where it is at least. Um, so here's the food court. You can see it's pretty, Pretty awesome. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Yeah. And the Sea Life Aquarium's right there. Yeah. So like, unlike Central World, which is like huge, this is a little, it's not as big, but there's like a very high traffic because the Siam BTS stop is like the main chain station. So a lot of people pass through here. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of people too. So here's my friends. Is the aquarium. Um, 
it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's 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 on the small side, so it's not like SeaWorld or anything, but um, they do have sharks and things like that. And it's definitely worth a shot. Um, I was there earlier with uh, Cartoon, it was like really cool. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Back up to the top. It's called Sea Life. It's really convenient if you're just in Bangkok. I mean, it's it's just in town and you just show up and you go check out the aquarium. And after you're done, you got you got a food court, which is which is amazing. And then there's also the movie theater here, which is also spectacular. I mean, it's pretty massive, like a huge screen. I, I saw Avengers here a while ago. It was great. So I don't know, this, this looks like the restaurant food court floor. Um, there's another section that's actually like nicer, nicer restaurants. But yeah, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> I was actually like a bit unsure about doing Siam Paragon for a video because I've been here a lot. I mean, 30 times maybe. Um, but I just came to this section and <laughs> I have never actually been to this section. So, yeah, these things are massive, massive, massive. It's all about that Bangkok mall life, you know? <laughs> so much stuff. There's just like no shortage of American brands in Bangkok, so if you're from the States, you will uh, you, you will find a lot of comforts from home. And it's not just like McDonald's, you know, there's some interesting things here that are actually maybe even not in the States anymore, but have made it to Bangkok, you know. I like design of this place, huh? <laughs> Look at this, holy crap. These are just cafes, but they are like decked out. Wow, <laughs> this is crazy. Fuck, it's like the whole city's here. This is nuts. You got your Moz Burger. <laughs> Okay, like I probably spent a little too much time on the food floor, but I'm just in awe. Yeah. I mean, if, if you if you want kind of like a chill mall experience, um, definitely don't come to Siam Paragon. What's this? <laughs> oh, I think it's Korean street food. Wow. They have like a little like Korean street food section. <laughs> this, this just, it just keeps going. It's like way more over there too. <laughs> wow. This looks like it's like Thai eateries like on this side over here. Alright. And next time we check out the other levels. <laughs> so the, the theater is up there. So we'll venture over there eventually. We just came up a few floors here and 
It's like a car dealership in here apparently. We got some Bentleys over here and BMWs <laughs> and a Harley Davidson shop. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I think a Porsche store or dealership coming soon too. Not for nothing in this place. <laughs> like an electronics level maybe yeah there's like ice studio which is kind of like an apple store yeah, i'll just do a quick round here <laughs> and it seems like the higher you get off the ground floor like the less people there are <laughs> but yeah I, I think at the bottom is like the bts entrance and then also like the food court so there's just a lot of a lot of crowds so here is you know it's a little a little more spread out <laughs> Uh, DJI store. Holy smokes, this is like a super toy store. Uh, <laughs> I could have spent too much time in there, but it looks pretty cool. Back. I think there's more restaurants over there. And finally, the crowds are thinning out even more. <laughs> epic theaters in all of Bangkok. Personal opinion, but hey, you know, you'll see. Look, look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, just look at this. It's nuts. <laughs> it's seriously impressive, right? Yeah. See movies in Thailand. Yeah, Bangkok in particular are, are pretty much next level. If you come to like these newer, bigger, I mean the screen size is just, it's like absurd almost. But look at the size of just this room. <laughs> I'm, I'm guessing that's like the fancy theater. Like, look at this. Like, what? What? What is happening? Like, it's not just a movie, you know, in Thailand. <laughs> it's a hobby exhibition. You know. This is impressive, like, just bam. This is amazing. <laughs> like, do we have stuff like that in the West? I don't know. This is cool. And and this this isn't a super new mall either. Like, Icon Sam is newer, but their their theater is, is a little more like 
it's cool, but it's not as palatial, you know, like the waiting area and then just like the entire experience. Definitely gotta check that out. Yeah. Oh yeah, so here's the like nicer restaurant level. not so crowded of course it's like the middle of the afternoon so it's not time for food so have a little more space to uh, move around oh. so there's like never anybody in this restaurant but it's so cool like, like I don't know why if anyone knows let let me know <laughs> They have a Lu Kai Tong too. I really like their um, it's called Ratna. So it's like a it's like a Thai Chinese gravied uh, rice noodle stir fry with like shrimp and pork. It's really good. Um, I think that place is either Michelin starred or Bib Gourmand or something like that. So it's worth worth a try. And also <laughs> bun ice. Yeah. There's a uh, location in Tonglor that I had. Uh, so it's like Southern Thai food. Um, it's really nice. So Southern Thai food is generally super punchy, like like bitters and sours and just spicy, like beyond your imagination. <laughs> so um, you know we're we're more used to like in the West of like a single restaurant that has like all the Thai things, but most of those restaurants in the states actually pull from different regions of Thailand. Um, you know, like northeast or northern, central, uh, southern. So they each, they each kind of have their own, uh, their own flair. <laughs> so it's nice to try the uh, the specifics. And I feel like southern Thai food right now is trending in Bangkok at the moment. There's like a lot of like good restaurants that are getting a lot of um, a lot of attention. <laughs> oh, what is? I don't even know what's going on here, but it looks like, wow, well, it looks like a plane fuselage, <laughs> like, what is this? What? <laughs> Look at this. That's crazy. And I have no idea what everyone's waiting for, but that's a freaking plane fuselage. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oh, this is this is the convention hall. So there must be some kind of event. But yeah, that's that's very impressive. Let's head back down. I'll take another peek through this uh, restaurant zone here. So it it kind of seems like the um, Paragon is the uh, par Paragon's the department store within this mall um, but I think the whole mall is just called Siam Paragon I mean that's <laughs> that's what I've always known it as but there's actually a department store attached to it so like a Macy's as part of like a mall but there's like a bunch of little shops everywhere here and all that stuff so yeah this is an impressive mall definitely my top <laughs> can be a little claustrophobic though, that's the only thing. Um, so Central World has a bunch of stuff too, um, but it's not quite as like luxe or high-end, but it's really spaced out, so you, you never feel super, you know, boxed in like you do here. I've been like, you know, trying to dodge people for the last 15 minutes, <laughs> almost like running into me. Um, yeah. Sam 
in Paragon, definitely no shortage of like high-end Lux brands. I mean, they're everywhere. But it's starting to feel like super claustrophobic and crazy and kind of like Tokyo. <laughs> this might be a little hint for my next destination. Look at the crazy. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, there's a ridiculous amount of people. So there's actually two entrances from the BTS. We came in on the other one, and this is like the main entrance kind of. And then we're gonna head out there and get out of this mess a bit. And the exterior looks pretty interesting too, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Shibuya in your face, like ton of people vibes. <laughs> yeah, so got that strong afternoon light going on, but that's Siam Center right there, and then Siam Square is on the other side of the BTS, and then this is Siam Paragon. check it out it's one of my top malls in Bangkok if you're visiting you gotta do the mall life action and check it out it's uh it's a somewhat local experience but yeah so see you in the next video <laughs> <laughs>